the stage. Hey, once again, welcome to another exclusive interview here on the stage, hanging out with my friends Hall and Oates. Daryl Hall, John Oates, how are you guys? Good. Yeah, I, I see you smirking out of the corner of your eye like, why are we doing this interview with this guy? Hey, why not? What's that? What's that? Our close personal. Yes, thank you very much. Hey, really quick, uh, we're at the State Theater. We are in Easton tonight hanging out, Hall and Oates on tour. This is funny. I looked this up. I honestly didn't know this, but you're from Pottstown? Yeah. And that is just down the road. That, yeah, down Route 100. There's nothing in that town but the Coventry Mall. Have you been there at all still? You go back that way ever? I was there before the Coventry Mall was there. But, oh, okay. <laughs> You're only like 28 years old, I thought. Yeah, well, uh, Coventry Mall's 27, I think. What are you, 23? Yeah, I'm 23. John's 23, so uh, so there you go. Yeah, man, I'm like, Pottstown, PA, there's nothing to do there at all but write songs and play guitar, I guess. Is that why you pretty much got started doing this? Yeah, well, I didn't really write too many songs in Pottstown. It was like I moved to Philadelphia, then the songs started coming. Yeah, right, you nothing. Pottstown's like, mm, what do we do here? Uh, John, explain this to me if you can really quick. I want to talk about the new record, Do It For Love, but this is a, a funny story, and again, I read this, and I was laughing. Explain to me the elevator story on how you guys met, because I, I'm like, this is the most bizarre thing I've ever heard in my entire life. We were at the Coventry uh, Mall. We were at the Coventry Mall in Pottstown. Yeah, we were at Zern's Farmer's Market, actually, <laughs> when we met, and uh, we were haggling over some uh, haggis. Uh, yeah, some bologna. <laughs> some bologna, yeah. Lebanon, Lebanon bologna. bologna. No, we were, we were working in uh, Philadelphia. as uh, Daryl's group had a uh, single out, and so did my group, and we, ha we were on little uh, labels in Philadelphia at the time and uh, getting a little bit of airplay, and we were going to pr perform our records at a, at a record hop, at a teenage dance. And a uh, fight broke out. We kind of ran out the back. We were hanging around backstage. And that's how we met. We were both going to Temple University. And then we started, um, became friends and started writing songs afterwards. That's cool. That is really neat. Now, what was the actual year that you guys actually got together and were considered a band? 67 when we met, or 68. Because you were in a bunch of bands at the time then. You oh, weren't hauling oats right away. That's right. We were playing with different people, <clears throat> doing different things. And then uh, in 1970, we actually got together kind of formally and said, let's just try something. Let's try something together. That's cool. Uh, now, Do It For Love, that is out now. That came out in February, I believe it is. Right. You have a couple solo records. You just put out a solo record. Why do that? I mean, you guys get along so well together. It seems like there's no friction ever between you two. I could be wrong. I mean, you guys pretty much are like, it seems like you're married to each other. You're always, you know, for 30 plus years now. Why do it? Why do a solo record? Uh, so we stay that way. <laughs> stay sane? <laughs> yeah. No, the, everything you just said depends on things like solo records. And, and uh, uh, all good marriages need space, man. Oh, wow. Well, um, you want to comment on that? The men are from Venus. Uh, whole notes is from Mars. <laughs> Do it for love, huge song. Don't uh, you guys are probably humble about it, and I would be because I'm, you know, a host. But uh, came out and it was huge. I mean, w w did it go number one? I mean, adult yeah. contemporary, it, it went huge. Yeah. And I, I don't know how to word this because I want you. I mean, you're gonna be humble about it, but did you expect it to go that far? Did you know it was a hit song like when you wrote it? Were you like, this is a great song, or like, did you, were you just like blown away that it became like a number one song? I have never expected any song to be a hit ever. Okay, it's always a surprise when it. And it's always a surprise when it when it doesn't become, do anything at all, you know? Same thing. You never know what's gonna happen. But uh, what was particularly good about this is because we, we didn't have a record label. We were, we were putting out a greatest hits record. We decided that we were, we were in the midst of doing a new album and we decided to uh, add a couple of new songs because we didn't just want to have a bunch of old songs on the album. And, uh, and radio immediately warmed to do it for love and it was great. So we finished the album and put it out on our own label. But we finished the album with a real feeling of confidence because we knew that people liked what we were doing. So that was good. That's, you know, that's good for like beginning bands and things like that. The fact that you guys put it out yourself and you got a lot of radio play. A lot of bands think you need a record label to go and get on the radio. And a lot of PDs, program directors that I know, they're like, look, if you write a good song, it will get on the radio. And you prove that point. I mean, I think a lot of bands will oh. see that. Oh. That's not really that's a, that's a little Oh, really? No, you don't, you don't think really? Not, not quite. Not quite true. It's a little naive. Um, I think that if you do if you do write a good song, you're, in some way or another, you'll get noticed, whether it's critically or whatever. But in the end, uh, radio requires some wherewithal from the record company. You got to work it. You got to have a team of, of um, record promoters. You got to have people out there convincing people that it's happening. It's more to it than that. But you can do it on an on a on an independent label. Well, that's why I just host the show. See, I completely just give the wrong answers to everything. It's not funny. No, the. And yeah, that's not very funny, is it? It's kind of <laughs> no, it's not. This interview's actually over, so thanks. <laughs> no, seriously. <laughs> no, you know what John was saying. Uh, that's true, and and I think it's uh, I think a new, especially a new band, needs some kind of record support because there's nobody else. But you have to have some kind of team behind you. We have the luxury, and people like us, we've been doing this for so long. We have a name, and uh, it's almost like a brand name. So we can go out there, hire our own promotion people, and basically be our own record company. So it's a little different for us. 
Uh, Do It For Love, the record's in stores. Hollow Notes, Daryl Hall, John Oates, just to recap in case you're tuning in just now. Uh, what's your favorite song on the record? Do you have one? Do you like them all? Does it change every night when you play? It changes all the time. You know, it's it, it, uh, we're still a little close to it. I mean, I, I like Getaway Car, Someday We'll Know, Heartbreak Time, Do It For Love. I don't know. I like them all. <laughs> How about you, sir? Oh, I'm the same way. I, I think Man on a Mission sounds really good. It's our new single, and it's really happening, and uh, I like playing it live. It really has a great sound. I'm a Stay tuned, we'll be right back with more of our exclusive interview with Daryl Hall and John Oates. Hi, this is Daryl Hall. This is John Oates. And you're watching The Stage. Forever for you. Favorite song on the record. Uh, the line, a rose is a rose by name, but a thorn will still cut you uh, just the same. I, I read that lyric and I'm like, wow, that's pretty deep and dark. So you're like a really sensitive guy. Huh? I am. Deep inside, huh? And I, you guys know any girls? <laughs> yeah, we know a few. Well, uh, hey. yeah, are, you guys, are you married? Are you married? No, I'm not married. Are you? Yes, I am. Uh, that's unfortunate. Don't say anything, because if your Why wife ever I sees the show, no, I'm actually just very jealous, so never mind. Moving right along now, um, are you doing a little bit of everything in your live shows now? Are you yeah, doing older yeah. stuff, new stuff? We run the gamut. We do old songs, new songs, everything in between, lots of everything. You getting bras thrown up on stage? Uh, no, we get some panties, though. We sell them, though. We get bras. Oh, yeah? We got everything. I got some funky panties the other night, though. I didn't want to look at them. It was scary. <laughs> grandma panties or what? No, they weren't grandma panties. They were just funky panties. I don't know how to... I, I don't want to go... All right, one more question. Actually, not a question. We're going to play a game really quick here. Okay, you guys ready? This is called Name Your Song. Daryl, you ready? Sure. John? Yeah. All right. It's Daryl versus John. Number one, name your song. It's a mystery that runs too deep for such a simple heart. Forever for you. One for him. You can't sing it. You got to say it. Is this like a puzzle? Let, let, oh, one nothing. One for John. I'm here. Let's disappear and start all over again. Yes. Get away car. One to one. Hollow notes. I would write your name across the sky. Man, I miss it. Do it for Minus one point for you. It is now 2 nothing. Oh, 2 nothing to Daryl. You know we owe each other honestly. Man, on a mission. There we go. You yeah, suck at this lyric. game. Yeah, that's right. Uh, Doesn't matter. You're in the band. Was it just a crazy spell I was under? Uh, yeah, that's good. I almost said the answer. Stay to heaven. <laughs> yes, there you, there you go. Thank you. Hollow notes, everybody. Well, hey, Do It For Love is the CD. Uh, pick it up now, please. Hollow Notes. Will you guys sign some stuff quick and we'll give it away on the show? Yeah, sure. You're like, dude, we got to go on stage. Get the hell out of here. Let's go. Let's go. Right, let's go. We're out. Bye. Yeah. Off like a prom dress. The stage. <laughs> <laughs>